A lot of people have been criticizing Tesla's full self-driving, even some of its owners. However, they do that until it saves their life, like in this video here. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Hope you've had an amazing day. This is an amazing story. It's not every day your life is saved by technology. There's millions of deaths every year, literally millions of road deaths every year. Full self-driving, of course, will solve those deaths. Now, obviously, modern car technology is already saving hundreds of thousands of lives. But when we have this level of technology, and even better, which we'll have in the future, this will totally change. We'll see very few road deaths. Millions of lives will be saved every year. And that's what excites me about this kind of story, about this kind of technology. Footage of a crash involving a Tesla Model 3 has surfaced on YouTube, with the uploader saying, this is the first crash on the Wham Bam Tesla channel that involves a Tesla running only on full self-driving beta. It seems as though Tesla's running on full self-driving beta rarely crash. Maybe their owners are extremely attentive, I'm not sure why that is. Let me know if you know. Dennis Perez from Livermore, California was driving his Tesla Model 3 around town with the full self-driving beta software on. The video captured by the vehicle built in dash cam starts with the car waiting at a red light to make a left turn. Now I'm just going to interrupt here the story and tell you what I think saved this guy's life was actually Tesla's decision to remove radar and use only Vision, as in use only video and get rid of radar. That might sound strange, but I'll explain why that is in a minute. When the light turned green, autopilot paused for a moment before entering the intersection. That's something it presumably does to reduce the risk of encountering red light runners. Even so, six seconds after the light turned green, six whole seconds, the Tesla got T-boned by a Honda Ridgeline pickup truck that had just run the red light. Maybe it was some drunk idiot. I don't know. But this is the kind of thing you see on a movie. Crazy. Fortunately, Dennis escaped with nothing more than a sore body. Despite the heavy impact that triggered the airbags, no one else got injured. Now, Honda Ridgeline is a pretty large vehicle. And, I mean, this could have killed the guy easily. This kind of impact, getting T-boned from a car, doing 70 miles plus per hour. Without the intervention here, I reckon he would have died. It's clear that full self-driving beta cannot be blamed for anything in this case. Quite the opposite. If you watch the video closely, you'll notice that autopilot stopped the car just before the impact, with the Honda hitting the Model 3's front fender as a result, and essentially saving the driver's life. Had the Tesla carried on driving, the truck would have hit Tesla's driver's side door directly, causing incredibly serious injuries to the driver, whose name was Dennis. This goes to show full self-driving beta right now literally is a lifesaver. Now, if you're wondering just how far ahead we are with full self-driving, is it close to actual full self-driving, to level five full self-driving, where you don't have to pay attention and you can just go to sleep? Well, not really. But I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about that. The Model 3 owner shared the telecam footage of the crash with the Honda driver and with police at the scene of the accident. So that's another good thing about this, right? Having footage so you can't be blamed. This has happened many times, right? In accidents with Tesla vehicles. The other owner has said, oh, no, 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 it was the Tesla owner's fault and the footage has proven them to the police that the Tesla owner was not in the wrong. That's a really cool feature. An insurance claim has been filed with a guilty driver's insurance assuming full responsibility. Unfortunately, the Tesla was deemed total. Dennis is planning now to order a Model Y once the insurance provider pays out. Besides the Tesla Model 3 crash, the video shows 14 more car crashes involving or filmed by Tesla vehicles. Now, a lot of people have seen this video and they're saying, why do people in the US drive so bad? Well, my friends, there's bad drivers in every country around the world. Um, I've visited a lot of them and trust me, there's bad drivers in every, you know, Probably my worst experience with drivers was Italy. I think they were way worse than the drivers in America. And I spent a lot of time riding on the roads in Italy. And I spent a lot of time 
riding my bike on the roads in America. Definitely. The Italians were extremely aggressive and I got hit a couple of times. Now with full self-driving, it's not about it being better necessarily than a human for things we can see right now, that is. It's more about the ability to see things with all of its eight cameras that the driver can't possibly see and to take that into account in order to try to save the driver's life. And one of the things that full self-driving is really good at is just being constantly aware, as in it's always watching, it has faster reactions, it obeys traffic laws, it's never impaired by tiredness or alcohol or anything, Panadol or any drugs. Now, right now, one of the differences between full self-driving and normal drivers is that humans are better than full self-driving at understanding context and anticipating driving conditions, remembering local conditions and quirks, anticipating driver behavior based on visual cues, etc. But remember, human experience is extremely, extremely limited compared to full self-driving. Those of us that don't drive professionally are unlikely to ever reach a million miles while Tesla collects billions of miles of driving data every single year. Now with eight cameras, Tesla vehicles have vision not only of what is behind them, but also what's on the sides as well. To the front, they focus on three different distances at once. They have vision in all those directions at all times, and they see frequencies of light invisible to human eyes. That could be one of the reasons for the phantom braking, by the way. What does that mean? Well, those cameras are much more likely to spot that guy looking at his phone than a human driver is. So why have Tesla vehicles in general improved when it comes to emergency braking? Well, all Teslas are equipped with automatic emergency braking, which is AEB as part of the automatic safety system. As reported in Tesla's 2021 impact report, since Tesla stopped using radar and switched to vision only or Tesla vision, the performance of Tesla's automatic emergency braking, AEB, has improved enormously. The switch has improved pedestrian AEB performance by an incredible 45%. So it's likely that removing radar from Tesla's cars is what actually saved this guy's life. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and have a great day. Bye-bye.